Well, we're back in the garage now after being gone for the weekend. Down at the Crows this past, I guess before, it's one of my favorite areas to be. Uh, Tuscany guy invited me down there. But now we're back in the garage, back to doing business. But I had a job interview earlier today, so let's just talk about that. Seems a little freaking crooked. So anyways, yeah, the interview today was with a company that made juice. Are those Tetra Packs, whatever they are. And there's nothing wrong, like the interview went well and everything else, but really, how do you expect to attract people when you offer shift work that doesn't involve any weekends off? So it doesn't matter if you're working days, afternoons, or nights, you're never going to get a weekend off, but do you know what, I don't care how much money a company's going to offer me, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't as much as I was making before, I think quite a bit less, so there's no way. I would get out of bed to go work a job that didn't allow you to get weekends off. I would work a job that was work four days on, four days off, that of course you'd overlap over a weekend over a period of weeks. I'd be fine with that, but nah, fuck that, that's bullshit. But we, got but we got work to do in the car. We need to start grinding some of that body filler off to start cutting some more panels out. So now I'm gonna get a mask on and we're gonna start grinding all that out so I can cut this panel out. And once you've got this panel out, we're going to cut this one out and then jet it over to try to get those lined up a little bit better. You know, for a no-name grinder, it's actually pretty good. And I love how they give you like an 8-foot cord with it too. That's money. Ah, shit. Well, let's see if the Noko jump starter pack can start this thing up. Let it do its thing. I almost wonder if that battery's pooch now. It's a few years old, anything's possible. I never had an issue with it being dead previously, so we'll let it run for a bit and see what happens. way is we're going to take a grinder, we're going to cut this off, the wheel wall is going to be changed, we're just going to cut that off because we only replaced the panel down to there, then we're going to come across, cut down here, and cut down here, and drop that whole section out. You gotta separate this last little piece that's gonna be welded in. I haven't decided how I'm gonna go about that yet, so I'm hoping there's still a little bit of a rail there that this is welded on. From here around, we're gonna continue on from there because this, you clearly see it overlaps totally, so that shouldn't be too hard to separate. Hopefully not. actually coming off a little better than I thought. It will be some work to straighten that back out and kind of fix it up a little bit. But using that Capri air hammer that I got a little while ago to do a review on, it's been working pretty slick. So I'm hoping in a matter of minutes I can just split this up, go across there. As you can see, 
this is supposed to be the body line there where the rib is and the way this panel was put in it was right flush you could not see that rib so we need to kind of correct that but let's continue ripping this apart I swear this job behind me has got to be a union job there's a lot of vehicles here and a whole lot of people doing sweet fuck all for like the past three days now speaking of fuck all and thinking I'm a union worker as well we're coming along on this some of it's fucking pretty ugly build up of welds right there but we'll grind that off try to clean her up as best as we can we're gonna start getting rid of some of all that filler up top there so we can start the transformation Tomcat's trying to be invisible hey buddy Are you invisible? Oh, it's motherfucking water time. It's a warm one out today. Tomcat will usually come get me when he's too hot and wants to go inside, but sometimes he just hides in the shade. I let him inside. It's pretty warm out today, especially with his long hair. But let's go look at some progress. I don't got this 100% straight, but it's a lot better than what it was. Now we're gonna work on this shit show. I'm gonna try to cut all those welds. Focus, focus. Cut all those welds and then use the air chisel to punch them out. And this side here, try to cut the welds up top there. And you can see that gap right there. So you got Bondo. So imagine if I just cut the welds, it looked like they're bridged. That section's gonna come out. wasn't supposed to happen. I guess I should tighten up these set screws so it doesn't do it again. I should lock tight these bastards in there is what I should do. I think one already fell out and got lost once upon a time. turned out all right we managed to retain this line right here because that's the plate we're gonna put on top of this still gotta straighten it out this and that and got rid of all those ugly welds we do have to modify this a little bit nothing too serious to make these body lines line up right here then we're gonna get it tacked into place welded into place then we're gonna build a section for there I don't know about you guys but I think it's motherfucking beer time all right, it's motherfucking beer time. We got some Uncle Billy's Lazy Day Lager from CJ Billy who sent me these a little while ago. This is to honor those union pipeliners out back. They're doing sweet fuck all and raking in the cash. Man, this is good fucking beer, this one. Oh, so more progress is made. 
you know, ideally inside of the trunk will be covered so you want to be able to see that so I could have played the game of hide it but I'm gonna try to fix it as best as I can with the abilities that I have you know to me something that I think would be better sometime in the future somebody else may have this car they may look at the work I did and think holy fuck what was this guy doing same thing just as I'm doing now but I think I'm doing a better job than the person previously hopefully Anyways, I'm going to get going. Tomorrow we're going to start fitting up those panels, get everything welded in, get this fucking trunk finished. It's been stretching out all summer. i just been dog fucking just like those guys out back. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.